What's going on everybody, Sloth here, hope you're having an awesome day, and welcome to my guide on Smokey Pokey. Smoke is a two armour, two speed, defensing, anchoring operator, hailing from the British Special Forces, the SAS. Smoke is one of the best anchoring defensing operators in all of Rainbow Six Siege, and that's because his gadget, the smoke canister, allows him to slow down enemy advances onto the objective rooms in clutch situations. The first thing we're going to do in this video though is take a look at Smoke's optimum loadout, then we're going to take a look at how to use his gadget effectively, the Smoke Grenade, and then after that we're going to talk how you want to play Smoke in a typical round. Smoke has to choose between two primary weapons, the first of which being the FMG9, which is a submachine gun, which does 30 damage, has a quick fire rate of 800 and a capacity of 30 in the magazine, which is pretty generous. Then he has to choose between his shotgun alternative, which is the M590A1, which does 48 damage, has a pump action fire rate, Low pump. and a capacity of 7 in the magazine. Now, me personally, this does come down to personal preference. I'm not much of a shotgun player. There is definitely a use for the shotgun when playing as smoke, but I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. But my personal preference is to go with the FMG9 with the flash hider and the reflex scope because I just like the reflex scope compared to the red dot. Again, that's personal preference. Then he has to choose between the P226 MK25 and the SMG11 in the secondary weapon slot. Now, I recommend going with the SMG11 100% of the time as it's just far superior to most other secondary weapons on Rainbow Six Siege. It used to be godly, but now it's just good. But still, the SMG11 is a solid choice. In the secondary gadget category, Smoke has the option between barbed wire and the impact grenade. Now here is where there is a bit of a toss up. Depending on what primary weapon you've picked, I'm gonna recommend a different secondary gadget. So there are basically two loadouts that you can run on smoke that will make you the most effective. The first of which being the shotgun, the M590A1, with the SMG11, with the barbed wire, because you can basically, with the shotgun, do so much structural damage to objects that you don't necessarily need the impact grenade to create them different lines of sight for you because you can do it with the shotgun. So if you are confident with the SMG11 and you don't mind rocking a shotgun, I would definitely recommend this loadout over the one where the FMG9 is in the primary weapon slot because I like to play with the FMG9 because I don't really like running with shotguns, but if you do like running with shotguns, definitely go with the first loadout I've recommended. If you don't, run with the FMG9, with the SMG11, and an impact grenade to allow you to open up them new lines of sight and to able you just that little bit more of versatility to your game. Smoke's gadget is called the Z8 Compound Grenade, and basically is one of the most useful defensive gadgets on Rainbow Six Siege and gets more valuable the longer the round goes on. Smoke has access to three of these smoke grenades and each of them when detonated lasts up to about 10 seconds and will damage your enemies, will not allow them to see through the smoke and will also cause them to flinch. So generally you don't want to be inside one of smoke smoke grenades. Smoke himself can stand inside his smoke grenades without getting damaged, but will still have the limited visibility. Because of this gadget, Smoke is incredible at slowing down enemy advances and is one of the best anchoring operators in the game. His smoke gadget covers a wide area, damaging enemy enemies that walk through them and limiting their visibility whilst making them flinch. Using his gadgets aren't difficult, simply press the gadget button you have assigned on your controller to throw it, then the grenade will stick to any surface including walls and ceilings and will not detonate until you press the button again so they are remotely detonated. This allows you to basically set traps with smoke by placing one of your canisters where you cannot see them but maybe a teammate has a line of sight on that grenade and then he can instruct you when is best to detonate it causing smoke to be able to put smokes in different positions and leave that area while still kind of being able to cover an angle by, for instance, putting his smoke on a doorway, leaving that area, but still allowing that smoke to hold that doorway. Smoke is very good the second that a defensive round starts, but he essentially becomes God when you're able to get him to 30 seconds left on the clock. Here is a run out the clock situation. And he will be the difference between you winning and losing that defensive round nine times out of 10. So when playing as smoke, your goal is to make sure you stay alive and have at least two of your canisters left whilst being on the bomb site with about a minute 30 on the clock. 
and make sure you're paying attention to not get your head taken off so you can make it to that crucial 30 seconds. From this point, you need to hold your nerve and try and keep both of your canisters available for the last 30 to 20 seconds. Because in Rainbow Six Siege, everyone loves a buzzard beater. Tyreek and the and attackers will typically leave their push to the last seconds of the round. Let's say you're on a defensive point where you have a door to your right and a door to your left. When the clock hits 30 seconds, you want to throw your canister onto the door on the right and detonate it whilst keeping an eye on the door to your left. Then when it hits 20 seconds, throw your opposite canister at the door on the left, detonate it and then watch the door to your right. And then when the 10 seconds goes again, throw your canister back to the door on the right, detonate it, and then watch the door on the left. By doing this, you're able to watch both doors whilst being covered from the opposite angle. By doing this, you only have to watch one of the angles whilst you're safe from the other one. But in turn, doesn't always typically like work out like that in Rainbow Six Siege. You might see that your opponent is definitely coming from the door on the left. So if you know that for sure, throw all the canisters on the door to the left. But if you're in a situation where you don't know where the enemy is going to come from, this is a good thing to do because it keeps the enemies guessing on which direction is best to come through. But if you have balls of steel and you can hold out until 10 seconds to 15 seconds in the round, ho ho ho, it's game over, baby. We try out gang members. I pop two of them off the draw. Bang, bang. Yeah. And I raise up to take the leader out. Oh shit, I feel like I'm there now. I hear a whistle. My partner's on the roof. He says, let's even the odds! He tosses me down a Mossberg pump. I send one through his chest. Game over, bitches. Because this means that you can cover both doorways with smoke, which means your enemy 100% has to come through the smoke at one point. And basically means they're going to come through disorientated and damaged whilst flinching. They're not going to know where they are and it's going to be a very easy kill. And that's the difference that 15 seconds can make. See what I mentioned about smoke becomes more valuable the time goes on. If you can hold out to that 15 seconds and then throw one at the door on the right, one at the door on the left and then one back at the door on the right you're basically going to be covered for the entirety at the time if you throw them at the right times. Meaning that the attacker is going to come through and most likely get murdered. And it's going to basically ensure that you win that round. So make sure when playing smoke you're being very aware of when the attack is about to happen. You can usually feel it happen. You can tell when people are going to push in. If you don't feel like you can wait till the 15 seconds, obviously do the tactic that I mentioned earlier. But if you do feel like you can hold out, make sure you are trying to do so because it basically ensures that you will win the round if you are able to do it correctly. Also, don't be afraid of detonating your smokes even if you are in a gunfight because they do still stay active once you die. So therefore, even if you go down but not out, you're still able to cover an angle with your smokes. So I know I've said it so many times, it gets more valuable the round goes on. Don't be a fool and waste your canisters early in the round because we all know that they make a massive impact towards the end of it. So just hold your nerve and hold on to them. Only use them when you're guaranteeing that they need to be used at that situation. For instance, two right shoulders drop through a hatch and they're stuck in a little room. Yes, in that situation, I'll throw the smoke grenade in there and gas them boys out. The only other thing you have to watch out for is Glass because obviously he can see through your smoke and he might catch you with your pants down if you're just acting like no one can see through it. So just be aware if there is an enemy glass on the opposite side of the team. Overall, smoke has an incredible loadout and an incredible gadget. The FMG9 is a very solid primary weapon that is basically laser beam like and has no problem in dispatching enemies. Also, he comes well equipped with a great secondary weapon, so he's well versed in that area. And obviously, his gadget is one of the best defensive ones in the game. So, I see no reason why smoke should not be picked up on any defensive team basically starting out. If you are just getting into Rainbow Six Siege and you don't know what defensive operator to pick and you don't like roaming around the map too much, smoke is a great one because all you need to do is basically stay on the bomb site and try and stay alive for as long as possible and you're very, very helpful to your team. Even if you're not that good, you know, on the sticks and on the triggers at shooting, you can still have a massive impact on your team just by using the canisters in their correct way. So if you are looking into getting to Rainbow Six Siege, Maybe try picking up smoke as your first operator and trying to get a handle on him if you're not too good at, you know, picking heads. <laughs> but now I'm going to talk about how you want to play him in a typical round. I know I've gone over it, but the second that round starts, you want to try and obviously 
set up a base and get both your reinforcements down and then basically try and hunker down don't be too afraid you know of trying to go out and get kills but i would not span far from that objective room the second it hits a minute 30 you want to be getting back to that objective room not putting your life on the line because there's no point in just wasting your life very early on you can leave the objective room but obviously don't span too far away from it make sure you're in the objective room for that one minute 30 and just try and stay alive for as long as possible once it hits that 30 seconds, you need to make that decision. Do I need to detonate these now or can I wait a little bit longer? An extra 5 to 10 seconds can be the difference between a win or a loss. And then basically throw your canisters, you know, in the directions I've mentioned earlier. If you know an enemy is definitely coming from the left, then obviously throw them to the left. But if you're unsure of where they're coming from, use the method I mentioned earlier because it means you only have to watch one angle at a time. And obviously you'll have other teammates alive in some situations that will be able to help you as well. Obviously, if you can make it to the 15 seconds, you should have essentially won. But obviously, keep your wits about you. People are going to try and run through there. So just make sure you are at the end of it to pick them off. But that's basically all you've got to do when playing a smoke. Stay alive. For the love of God, stay alive. And you'll be a huge impact to your team the later the round goes. But that's all from me, guys. I hope you've liked this guide. I hope some of you have found it helpful. That's pretty much it from me. And without further ado, have a great day.